Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Drecky series here, this is Jason and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video. I'm in Minecraft 1.19.2 and I'm on the Java edition right here. And within this video, I'm going to be talking about player heads, that's right. So as you can see, this is my player head of course, and within this video, this is kind of designed for new and returning players to the game. And um, I'm going to be teaching you how to get any player head that you want. Now, this could be a player head of a particular player that you like, or maybe it's your friend's account, or maybe it's an account of a YouTuber you like. It could be absolutely anything. But also, I'm going to discuss how to get custom player heads as well. So, um, basically, that allows us to get other player heads that we don't have an account for. So I'm going to be going over how to use that command within this video right here. But basically, there are two main ways to get player heads in the game. Now, um, you have to use commands to spawn them in because um, you have to specify what player head you want. And I'm going to be going over that within this right now. So, for example, right here, um, this is the command that you need to do. So we have to do a slash give command and then we use our name to say that we're giving it to us. And within here, we're going to do Minecraft colon and then player head like that player underscore head. And then we need to provide data tags within these uh, curly brackets right here. So the simplest way that you can actually give player heads of a particular one that you want. So this is going to be for a player that you know. So you have to know the Minecraft username of that person. That's very important. So in my case, what we need to do is we need to specify the skull owner, okay? And the skull owner, if we do, Draki series right here, you will see that it gives me my player head as you can see. So you can by all means run that within your Minecraft world as well if you are a supporter of the channel. Uh, but um, you can do lots of other ones. So if we do the same thing right here, we could do uh, Dan the Diamond Minecart like so. And as you can see, we now have uh, Dan's player head right here. And we can also do um, Efo, who is another great Minecrafter, which I like very much, who used to be an ex-Minecracker. Some of you might know him. And also, we could also pick, this is also, this is getting very old school here. We have uh, Zephos. We have uh, Blue Zephos from the Yogscast, uh, Lewis. I'm, so, I'm sure many of people might remember Shadow of Israfel and all that cool stuff in the old days of YouTube. But as you can see, I've specified three different usernames using this command right here. It's very, very simple if you know the Minecraft username of that person. All right, everyone, there is now a second way to get player heads. So I am on minecraftheads.com, which is a website that has player heads as well as custom player heads. And the second way that you can actually get player heads in the game is you have to specify what's known as a UUID. So it's a unique ID for that particular player head that you're trying to target. So in this case right here, I'm trying to get this really creepy looking monster head right here. And on sites like this, you normally have a give command that you can actually copy. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to show you what it looks like within a text editor. All right, everyone, I have now pasted this full give command within a text editor right here. And as you can see, it uses a very similar format. It does slash give at P and then uh, Minecraft colon player head. And then it will, it also specifies a name for the item. That's what this uh, display tag is doing right here. But as you can see within the skull owner tag, it then has an ID tag which is basically an ID using four integer numbers, as you can see. And that actually specifies a particular player head. 
There's also additional data in here to do with uh, texturing, which you may also copy from a website you find on the internet, but this has helps in texturing the particular player head that you've chosen, and it may look like a bunch of uh, random characters, but it's all encoded data. So do not think that you've done something wrong. This is exactly what it should actually look like. So now, if I copy this command, I should be able to get the monster head I showed you a moment ago. All right, everyone, I'm now back within Minecraft right here, and I actually will also have to get a command block right here. So slash give your name and then Minecraft colon command underscore block. And the reason why we need to do that is sometimes these uh, give commands for the player heads are actually a bit too big to paste within the... Uh, the actual window right here. So that's why we have to do this. So I'm pasting the command within this command block right here. And we're also going to get a lever right here, like so. And if we do that, you will then see that we now have a player head called Monster. And that does look very freaky, doesn't it? <laughs> very freaky indeed. But as you can see, I'm now using a custom player head that I actually found on minecraftheads.com and these are the two main methods that you can get player heads. You can specify a username or you can specify the ID and the texturing that you want from some third party website or some kind of Minecraft related website where basically there's a huge database of these where you can actually access them. All right, everyone, that's about it for this quick tutorial. Hopefully you found this useful. And as I said, there are two main methods and they are pretty easy to use. Be sure to use a command block if needed. But if you did enjoy this video and learn something new, then a like and subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure to click the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. I, I also have a Twitter and the Twitter is in the description or it's on screen right now. So that's at Dracky Series on Twitter if you want to follow me on there. Um, but as always, everyone, uh, thank you for watching. I'm ho also hoping to reach 20,000 subscribers as my next goal. And if you could help me achieve that and join the channel, it'd be also very much appreciated. But I'll see you guys next time. Take care and bye bye.